Next question is from Ander Beth. In each of your opinions, which popular exercise movements do you think are actually useless and a waste of time? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a. I'll tell you why this is a tough question because in the right context Nothing with the is. right application, yeah. all exercises have value. So I'm going to kind of change it a little bit because um, I, if it's done the right way for the right person, the right context, any exercise can have value. So let's talk about popular exercises that most people get no value out of because it's the wrong context and the wrong application, right? Mm -hmm. I think uh, a lot of these uh, these machines, a lot of times, for most people, tend to be a waste of time. Um, the inner and outer, you know, thigh machine or whatever you want to call them, the the bad girl, good girl machine. That's the first one that comes to mind. Yeah, for me. oftentimes mm -hmm. people they're they're using them wrong. They don't need to use them. The context just mm -hmm. does. It's just a, you're kind of wasting. 15 minutes sitting on that machine. There's things that are way, way more uh, effective, uh, you know, for your Which, body. Which, yeah, I've heard some people try and argue it in terms of rehab, like, uh, uh, you know, sure, to get the knee to track there's better. Be an but there's an exception to every rule, yeah, right? Yeah, there, exactly. There, there's not a, I just there's, had to bring that up. Right. No, it's a great point. And there's not a single exercise that we can name that somebody- it's always can, a waste. Right. That somebody can come back and argue and say, what? What about this situation? Well, yeah, that situation. But so, I, so I'm going to try and pick something that I, I see a lot and I would say- is a waste of time for prob probably 90% of the people that I see doing it. And it's like a, a butt kickbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so one. so glute kickbacks or what butt kickbacks, whatever you want. Uh, very, very popular exercise. People do them all the time in the gym. They do them because you can feel it in your butt. Um, but I see them doing it, you know, 15, 30 plus reps of this all day long. That exercise is probably one of the biggest wastes of time that I see most people doing. You get far more benefits doing a loaded exercise for the glutes, like a hip thrust or like a squat or like a sumo deadlift. Those, if you want to grow your butt and you're doing cable kickbacks and that's like a staple in your routine, unless you are literally using it as a primer mm. before you go into one of those big lifts that I just named, it's damn near a waste of time. I don't know how popular, but I've seen this in every gym and it insults me every single time I see it. Uh, and that's, you know, over at the, uh, the, the assisted pull-ups oh, yes. and then pushing their foot oh, down against one. the, yeah, against the weight that's supposed to then elevate you up and, and relieve you of, of your body weight on some level, but they're using it to just push and extend their leg down. Uh, I want to slap you in the face. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a single leg press that they're yeah. using it for. Yeah, it's not even that down. single leg press is way no, no, better. No, no, no. They're, they're, it's like, they're doing a extremely, uh, ineffective, ineffective, version. Yeah. uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I just I can't even wrap my brain. Around. It hurts my brain, and I just want everybody to stop doing that. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that. I think that one's a, a terrible one. I, I do. I, you know what's what's that one chest press? It's like a chest press where they they'll squeeze a plate and then they'll oh, press the it. Zen, Zen, Zen press. Sven. Sven. Okay, yeah. Sven press might has some applications sometimes. Ninety nine percent of the people I see doing it, I don't understand why. It's a total waste of your time. You're you're squeezing your chest. You don't need to press anything to do that. You can just push your hands together. It reminds me of uh, Karate Kid Part 2, right? Uh, Where yeah. he's like doing his little like meditative. And then he breaks the glass. Uh, yeah, or it's ice. ice. Yeah, ice. Yeah. My bad. 